It's decision day in Toronto. Today, voters will head to the polls to elect our new mayor. CP24's Andrew Brennan is live for us at polling station at Trinity Community Recreation Centre with more. And Andrew, uh, two and a half hours before people can <laughs> head down there and join you. Yeah. 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 Some, yeah. We wanted to go to where people actually are. So <laughs> there's some great coffee spots. Actually, Phil, we went down to Queen Street right now. And you know what? I'm just going to get off camera for a sec to show a, a beautiful, scenic downtown Toronto, not so much skyline, but transit line because we're on the Queen Streetcar line here. So we came down here to talk to people because since there's no one in line yet, voting uh, booths don't open until 10 a.m. We thought we'd ask people what they're looking for, kind of like what we're asking our CP24 viewers today. And the biggest thing that came up in the last half hour just being out on the street. Housing affordability are the two major factors that are driving a lot of people's vote and also driving a lot of their de uh, uh, their desires for the decision making that comes out of City Hall that the next mayor needs to tackle these things in their mind on day one. Those are the key issues that have to be tackled as soon as they get into the mayor's chair, as soon as they get to City Hall and start making their agenda into a reality. Now, we are right now after 12 weeks getting to voting day and that's a 12-week official campaign we've had some of these candidates campaigning since early march really after john tory stepped down in february so there's been a lot of time for people to get their message out as much as it's been a truncated campaign now we are starting to see the voter intentions coalesce based on the last available polls that we had that came out yesterday so the forum poll is the last one that was posted at 5 p.m yesterday olivia chow still maintaining a lead it's not as commanding as once was 29 percent now, 20 percent for Anna Bailao, whose endorsement from John Tory seems to have added some, uh, let's say, air into her sales. Well, the, it's a tale of two endorsements here and different uh, different outcomes here. Mark Saunders still at 15 percent, despite getting Premier Doug Ford's endorsement. Anthony Fury at 11 percent, and Josh Matlow, Mitzi Hunter, and Brad Bradford in single digits. So these are the last polling numbers that we're, we have to share because there's no new ones that can come out on election day that can uh, that we are are able to report on simply because we do not want to affect the outcome of the vote. Very important to me uh, mention things like that. Another thing that's very key to mention is what you will need to come to a voting booth or a polling station so you can cast your ballot. It's open to any Canadian resident 18 and up, but the most important thing is that you need to be able to show either ID or proof of residency in Toronto. So the polls today, there's dozens around the city that are open. As of 10 a.m., they close at 8 p.m., and we're expecting to get results pretty quickly after that. So we're going to talk to a few more people to see what they're thinking of in terms of what they want for their uh, to get from their next mayor. But for now, let's send it back to you both inside. Okay, Andrew Brennan live for us this morning. Thank you. We'll check back with you later. Yeah. All right. Make sure to tune in to CB24's election night special tonight, 7 p.m. Our guy Nick Dixon and our queen, Lena Latifat, <laughs> will be live as the results come in as Toronto elects that new mayor.